What's up everyone, Nomadic Gaijin here. Today we'll be talking about Mountain Park in Chichibu, Saitama. It's got lots of hydrangea because this is rainy season and that's what happens here. Check it out. So Japan, yeah, it's, it's really full of seasons, more than just a standard four, and rainy season's one of them. Now, I used to not like rainy season so much, and the reason why is because, I mean, yeah, it's rainy all the time, there's not much you can do. But just like anything in Japan, uh, every single month, I, f I swear every single week has something special about it. And in rainy season, you can see Ajisai everywhere. Now, if you look at the characters for Ajisai, you're going to see something that says, purple sunshine flower, but usually it's written in hiragana like this. And sometimes in science journals and other things, you might see it written in katakana like that, but we all know it as hydrangea. So I can see Ajisai all over my neighborhood. Uh, actually, we have, I think we have one in front, <laughs> but, but it's not the same thing uh, as being able to see it uh, in, a, in a huge field, which is what I wanted to see. So I was researching on the internet and just trying to think how I could find something like that. And I found this place in Chichibu. Some basic things to know about Chichibu, it's the largest city in Saitama, it's mostly mountains and rivers, and the city icon looks a little bit like Green Lantern's logo. So I was looking through Chichibu, trying to figure out where it would be a, a good place to find a whole bunch of Ajisai, and I found this place called Minoyama Koen. Minoyama Koen, which when you see it listed in English says Minoyama Park, but what it really means is beautiful mountain park, which is exactly what it is. So I went to Minoyama Park by car, and that's probably the easiest way, hands down. It took me from my house to the top of the mountain, a little under an hour and a half, so it was a really easy trip. But if you're going by train, it's still possible. There are two ways, really. There's a couple stations where you can hike up. If you don't mind walking about an hour and a half to two hours up the mountain, and a little less heading back down, there's two stations that are ideal for hiking up the mountain. Uh, one is Wado Kuroya Station, and the other one is Oyahana Station. Now both are pretty close. I think the first one I mentioned is a bit faster of a trip, but it's, a, it's quite winding compared to the other one, which is a little more straight, but takes a little more time. There's also one other option, which is you can go to Minano Station and take a taxi. It's about 20 minutes. I don't know how much it costs, but in the countryside, I can't imagine it'd be that expensive. Okay, so uh, I just drove up about, uh, it's about an hour and a half, and uh, I'm all geared up because I'm on top of this mountain, and it's gonna be, I know, uh, it's full of bugs, and, <laughs> and there's no lights here. Uh, they tell you to bring your own light, but I'm supposed to get a pretty good view of the city, and I'm really excited about that. It's kind of hard to see right now, but this is the site from the top of the mountain at night. So you get a little bit of a view. I'm gonna check it out. And if I cut the flash, maybe you'll be able to see a little bit better. Well, then you won't be seeing me at all. <laughs> all right, here we go. So I got um, what the lady at the booth called uh, Chichibu's soul food, and it's potato, and there was a variety of, of miso flavorings. There was garlic and uh, yuzu, I forget the other one, maybe just basic miso. Uh, she recommended this one. Really nice lady. I'm gonna try this out. Wow. The next day I was able to check out the shop, which I mentioned has a lot of local food, snacks, and drinks. All those Michinoyakis are like that. And this one had all the Chichibu specialties. So there was that same potato snack that I tried, the potato miso snack. They had potato chip version of it, which was a little sweet, but you know, it was alright. They had deer meat curry. The deer meat was from Chichibu. And I haven't tried that yet, but I'm excited. I'll post it on social media if you guys want to see about that later. I also got this really nice umeshu that was made with locally grown plums in Chichibu. But I drank it all, so I can't really show you guys. Sorry about that. Should have taken a picture. And I went to get a coffee from the vending machine and I got to see the mascot for Minano City area, which is where this mountain is, right? And, I mean, look at this mascot. It's. I know, I know it's, it's mountains and a river and, and nature and stuff, but it just looks so funny to me. I'm like, what do you think it is? Uh, yeah. 
So when I came here first at uh, at nighttime, it was really difficult to navigate these stairs and walk through this little patch of forest with just a flashlight. And I'm back here at the peak. I had to come all the way back up the mountain again, but it's definitely worth it. It's really nice. So basically, after I saw the first observatory in the daytime, I wanted to see the second one. Really, I was blown away. I'd seen pictures, but I didn't expect it to look like this. This is, this is just incredible. I mean, look at that. And really, that's just the overview. So once I got down to the main path, I got to see a lot closer. All right, I'm gonna go for a walk down this path uh, of all hydrangeas. This is gorgeous. Right, look at this mountainside view. I was getting the wrong side. here that looks really nice I assume that each different color was a different type of plant but actually it's all based on the soil's pH so even the same plant if the roots are going to different spots might have different colors or different shades of the same color I thought that was really cool uh, and that's why you can see such a wide variety of colors when you're walking around this path I want to come in spring because they've got over 8,000 cherry blossom trees and 70 varieties. That's insane. Going down this path, I may never come back. <laughs> that looks really nice, actually. Like I said, if I had a little more time, I'd like to hike up more of this. Ooh, that stairway lined with hydrangeas looks gorgeous. I'm going to walk up that. This might be the path I came down. Uh, so I'm gonna try this one, the, uh, the stairway to more Ajisai. Some of these look like they haven't fully bloomed yet. Or maybe that's the way they are. I don't really know much about flowers actually. All right. Wow, these are pretty much vertical stairs. <laughs> oh man. A fence to lean on, good enough. <sighs> Damn, that was, that was brutal. But, nice vantage point. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna resume my, man, look at, look at those stairs. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but man, that's uh, it's a bit steep. That plus the humidity is just killing <laughs> the moment. I bet spring is really nice here. Probably almost no bugs. 8,000 cherry blossom trees. 
perfect weather. Oh, I'm coming back during that time, definitely. After seeing the main flower areas, it was time to make my way to the third observation point. Ooh, a bench. There we go. A bench with views. Oh, that's nice. Man, this is where I should have been last night. Oh. Okay. There's three different uh, observation decks. Anybody up here? No. Again, got it all to myself. That's great. Down here on the left was a shop. It was closed at the time, but it looks like it'd be pretty good. Now the fun thing here is the shop's called Fried Hoods. I really don't think they were going for a cool name. I think they just misspelled it and wanted to say fried foods. Anyways, it's pretty funny. And they had this little gallery that had photos of all the different seasons, different times of year, different times of day fireworks etc and it looked really nice it would definitely be worth checking out if you ever come here well that's pretty much it there's so much of this park that i didn't explore i only checked out the ajisai section uh, i'm gonna come back in spring and check out the sakura cherry blossom section and there's a few other seasons that are really great here so i want to check those out as well it's not far from home so i'm really excited to come back here yeah thanks for watching this video as always your eyes in japan nomadic gaijin